Well, hello everyone. This is Richard Kadish, owner and broker in charge of Go Gated Realty, Hilton Head Island and Bluffton, South Carolina. And today is July 6th, 2019. And we're in Bluffton at Hampton Lake at number 485 Flatwater Drive. And happy 4th of July weekend, everyone. Uh, we're gonna walk through this home, the Valencia by Logan Homes. It sold, for which I was the buyer's agent. It was listed with Hampton Lake Realty for $721,386. I think you're gonna enjoy seeing the beautiful features throughout the home. I'll point them out to you as we go. Uh, it has 3,217 square feet, four bedrooms, four bathrooms, and an office, big covered back porch, an outstanding home. Let's just take a quick look around the neighborhood before we go in. We are in the final phase of Hampton Lake, for which there are about 100 lots left, where they're building these beautiful luxury homes. About 25% of these lots are going to be on the freshwater navigable lake, and the other 75% are going to be wooded lots. Uh, I don't work for the developer. Uh, but I will tell you that the pricing generally should come in on the freshwater lake lots at around 250, the wooded lots at about 125. We can talk more about that when you call. Again, my name Richard Kadish, K A D E S C H, and my company is Go Gated Realty. And I'm the Gated Community Specialist, ladies and gentlemen, and both Go Gated Realty and Gated Community Specialist are federally registered trademarks. And Hampton Lake is a gated community with a 24-hour guarded security gate, a manned security gate, and they are building a second one over to make access to this new phase better and quicker. They also have a beautiful 200-acre uh, navigable lake with a boathouse. You don't have to own a boat here to enjoy that. You can just go over and lease one at the boathouse for about $30 an hour, fishing boats for about $25 an hour. They have the restaurant Backwater Bills, great food, very reasonable prices. There are tennis courts, pickleball courts. There's a beautiful community pool with a lazy river. There's also a separate adult pool. They have a freshwater swimming lake, a campground, a dog park. This is a favorite among my upscale buyers. Hampton Lake in Bluffton, the annual HOA here in 2019 is $3,582. Well, this home, the Valencia, a beautiful mo model. It uh, stands out for one reason because of those beautiful tapered beams, tapered pillows, pillars rather, <laughs> at the front entrance, the covered portico. There uh, is a bedroom and bathroom upstairs with the garage covered porch front and back, large two-car garage, and a basement. Well, uh, we don't have basements in this area, but I'll explain. Look at this beautiful stonework. <clears throat> the exterior overall is hardy plank. The concrete fiber board, which the bugs don't eat, and which is the state of the art. Beautiful front door windows and door. The entire first floor is on slab. The entire house is on one level, with the exception of that one bedroom and bathroom up over the garage, and it's a beauty. I can't wait to show it to you. Well, the entrance to this home is really fantastic. First off, the wood floors extend right from the foyer across the living area, through the dining area, into the breakfast area, the kitchen. They actually go back into the office. So many architectural details to this house. The wainscoting, the art niches, the soft corners on the walls, the crown molding, which goes just everywhere. We have octagonal recessed ceiling in the living room. We have an octagonal recessed ceiling in the dining area. We have vinyl clad windows with transoms. Lots of light coming into this house. Well, when you build one, as I say, this one is, is uh, sold, 
but when you build one, you will pick out your different architectural preferences, such as, well, actually with Logan, the fireplaces are standard, as I understand it, as is the built-in bookcases and cabinets, uh, the crown molding, a lot of luxury built in to these Logan homes. A very good price again. This one was listed for $721,386. Well, our office is to the back right. We have a cascading sliding door here going out to one of the biggest porches, screen porches you'll ever see, at least in this area. We'll go out there when we finish seeing the house. There is a fire pit back there. Our eat-in breakfast area is here with the uh, beautiful woodworking. We have arches. You'll see arches sequenced through this home in ways that soften the lines beautifully. That entranceway is back to the master bedroom. We'll go there right away. Here's a look at the kitchen. It's a real beauty. KitchenAid stainless appliances. We have an island, we have a breakfast bar with granite tops. As I said, we'll come back and take a closer look at that. Let's go back and see this primary bedroom, sometimes called the master bedroom. Again, we have an arch leading back into the bedroom with beautiful crown molding. Big walk-in closets left and right. Before we go there, we're gonna take a closer look at this master bathroom with rectangular uh, uh, tiles on the floor, beautiful cabinets. We have the quartz tops with the undermount basins. We have a large oval soaking tub with a frosted window for light and privacy, and a big shower with beautiful tile work. Zero entry, zero step entry, I guess I should say, so as not to confuse anyone. And we have the rub bronze hardware, beautiful soft pattern on the tile. It's kind of like a waterfall pattern with a niche and a bench. And uh, you know, it's kind of warm today, 90 degrees. I think I'll just test out the shower here before we continue with the video. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, folks. Um, but it is 90 degrees today. <laughs> so, here's another look at this bathroom. Our commode is over here in what is sometimes called the water closet. We have our linen closet here. Notice the rubbed bronze hardware, the lever handles, the panel doors, the tall doors, all combined for just an absolutely beautiful home. And I'll be interested to see after you, uh, to hear from you after you see the video if you like it. Well, one of the great features about this home and Logan Homes in general is they have these beautiful hardwood ventilated shelves. And here you see a huge walk-in closet with this ash wood shelving. They can always add more. The hardwood floors go right on into the closets as well as flow into the bedroom area. This is the master bedroom with a trio of large windows to the back. The headboard will go over here. Another octagonal recessed ceiling, in this case with some indirect lighting. The ceiling fans were here. Now this was a model. My buyer, my, uh, the owner that I represented and continue to represent, came into the house and saw that it was a staged model. And they really liked what they saw. And it was it. They just felt like they were home. So they, we negotiated, of course, and then they bought it. So uh, this was staged with furniture. The sales rep for the builder was using this as, <laughs> as his office. And of course, we were happy to make him move out. And uh, he moved next door. I hope to make him move out of that house too, but I uh, haven't quite gotten there yet. Well, back to this one, back to this one. We have a granite top 
with a propane cooktop here, KitchenAid, with the KitchenAid stainless hood. We have a beautiful herringbone backsplash here with that zigzag pattern. The traditional white is timeless. I like it. Many of my buyers like the white cabinets, the shaker style cabinets have the soft close features and these kind of farm pulls or handles down here at the lower level. Changing color to the island, we go to a brown color. Lots of uh, beautiful features here. The KitchenAid dishwasher does have the stainless bin. And of course that keeps the decibels down. When you have an open plan like this one, you want to be able to run that dishwasher and not wake up the house. So there's a pantry here to the left. That KitchenAid refrigerator might just be a space keeper because it wasn't included in the sale. The buyers are getting their own. And here's the double oven configuration with the microwave on top. Nice touch to have the under cabinet lighting. I personally like that, although not everybody goes for it. I do like that backsplash though. Timeless, the timeless way to build indoors. Now, how about this? This here's another pantry. Walk-in pantry with again the hardwood shelving, so there's plenty of room for storing all your stuff. Of course, most of my buyers, and again, I am a buyer's agent, ladies and gentlemen. I don't work for Hampton Lake or the builder. I work for my buyers. Most of my buyers downsize when they move to the South Carolina Low Country. And so they don't have as much stuff to store. Well, this laundry has both the wash bin and the cabinets and the closet and a beautiful tile floor. As we move down the hallway, we are passing the stairway to the bonus room or fourth bedroom upstairs. We're going to take a quick look at the garage. You know, garages are important and storage here is generally important because we don't have basements, although there is an exception here. There is an exception here. I'll, I'll get to it in just a moment. Here is your full two-car garage with the automatic opener. It's what we call a finished garage. The garage has the enameled floor and our whole house water cutoff is over here. Now in this house, our water heater is in the garage. Although many builders put these water heaters into the attics. Again, when I say we don't have basements, well, here's the exception to the rule. It's what this builder calls a basement. It's an, an extra storage area at ground level, so no, it's not below ground. And it shows you what they have provided here for wind protection, which are the uh, canvases, which actually I've never seen deployed. I don't think you'll ever deploy them either. Uh, but here they are, a good storage area. That's the main message that I'm conveying here. Regarding storms though, I'll just tell you this is the best place in the southeast to avoid a storm. And that's because we're in what's called the South Atlantic Bight, farther west than Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Well away, well, well aware, I'll try that again. Well away from the coast to avoid a storm, but not far enough away to prohibit you to drive over to the beach, about a half an hour's drive over to Hilton Head Island, where the beach is owned by the state. You just need to go there and enjoy your day. But for living, well, I'd rather be in Bluffton, thank you. Although my wife and I did live on Hilton Head Island for 36 years before we moved to Bluffton and we loved it. The fact is that during the hurricane of 2016, which was Hurricane Matthew, it uh, hit the Hilton Head Island pretty hard. First one that ever did. But out here in Bluffton, here at Hampton Lake, they didn't even lose power. No homes were damaged in any way, didn't lose power. This is the place to be to avoid a storm, Bluffton, South Carolina. So this big, bright bonus room. Here's our fourth bathroom with the same quality that we've seen uh, elsewhere with the silestone or quartz top 
beautiful tiled shower with the traditional white pattern. And I'm going to take you into the attic because they have the open cell foam insulation, which is such an energy feature. You notice that stuff that looks like, I don't know, open cell foam insulation, I guess, all between the rafters going up on the roof. It allows us to come into the attic on a 90 degree day and feel actually very comfortable. It really is the best insulator. And it also seals the attic from humidity. So there is no ridge vent, there are no soffit vents, there's no flow through uh, um, airflow to cool your attic because the, uh, the foam does it. Now that's what's called your air handler. Our air conditioning systems have two parts. You have the air uh, handler which is in your attic or in a closet in some, by some builders. And then you have your compressor which is outside. They work together and it's a good climate for that. One more look at this beautiful second floor bedroom. Or I guess you could call it a bonus room. But it's a bona fide bedroom because it has this closet here to the right. And you just saw the bathroom. So it really is a fourth bedroom. Even though the house was really advertised as having just three bedrooms and a bonus. So back down we go to the first floor. To the kitchen and across. Note the beautiful fireplace which is a propane fireplace with those built-in uh, uh, cabinets and so forth. There is a switch to the right so you don't even have to go in there and fiddle with the, with the propane and those are gas logs. You just throw the switch. Well the fact is in this semi-tropical climate we only burn fires. <laughs> A very few days every winter, if even that. Here's the office, which has this beautiful coffered ceiling, a, a touch of tradition, a beautiful trio of windows looking out onto the back yard. That is a forest preserve just beyond the yard. Very quiet back here and another door out to that back porch. We're gonna go out there. I like this being set on the angle. And then our two other bedrooms are just through this archway, front and back. We have the front bedroom with closets, with a closet, and it has the ash wood shelves as well. And then the guest bathroom is just here to the side with the shaker cabinets and the gray tone, or white, I can't quite tell, and a deep soaking tub traditional white subway style pattern and crown molding, deep crown molding all the way around. Real luxury here. Quartz top, other mount porcelain sink, the framed mirror. This is our hall bathroom. And then the back bedroom has its own bathroom. So I guess you could say it's two master bedrooms on the first floor. But this one would be for a guest who wants to have their own bathroom. Same quality that we just saw. And the other one, quartz top, deep soaking tub, beautiful tile set on the diagonal. That is a deep soaking tub, ladies and gentlemen. And again, the traditional white tile surround and the window. I like it. So now we've seen all four bedrooms, all four bathrooms, the office, the kitchen. Let's go out and see that big, beautiful screen porch. 
through the cascading sliding door. One of the real popular features that my buyers like these days, lets in lots of light, opens up the outdoors and brings it in and vice versa. But look at this porch. This is beautiful. Oh yeah, with the beadboard ceiling painted that light blue, which any southerner knows keeps the evil spirits away. Or anybody else knows that it's just downright pretty with entrances from the office and the master bedroom as well as from the living room. And since this was a model, they went ahead and installed this fire pit with the salt finish concrete surface out here. So we have porch and patio surrounding the fire pit, giving way to the forest preserve and the peace and quiet of Hampton Lake, the Hampton Lake Woods. Beautiful place to be. Well, what do you think? Do you think this could be the place for you? I'd like to know. I'm a buyer's agent. I'm here to help. I'm here to work with you and to find the right place for you. It might be a large home like this Valencia model. It might be something different, smaller, bigger, more or less expensive. Well, <clears throat> with my buyers, I listen to your needs and Generally speaking, I send a list of the homes in the communities that could meet your needs to you on the internet. And it's like your own personal website, targeted to your needs within your budget. And of course, you'll tell me what's important to you. It might be lifestyle having to do with sports, golf, sailing, walking, biking, kayaking. It might have to do with concerns for safety and medical services or shopping and entertainment, schools if you're raising a family. These are all things that are very important to each of us in our own way. And so by listening to your needs and taking into account your budget, your timetable, I'm able to advise you and work for you. And there is no extra cost. My commission is already in the price of every listed home and new build. I am a former licensed South Carolina home builder. And as with the folks who bought this house, I'm only paid at closing if you buy and when you close. So here's how you can reach me and I hope you do. I'd like to work with you as your buyer's agent here in Hampton Lake, Bluffton, Hilton Head Island. Well, again, my name is Richard Kadish. It's K-A-D. E-S-C-H and my company Go Gated Realty and my cell phone 843-684-2933 that's 843-684-2933 please call anytime it also takes text well my email address rich at gogated.com that's r-i-c-h at g-o-g-a-t-e-d.com my website, gogated.com. Well, you'll find me if you want to, and I certainly hope you do. Please call, please email. Let's get acquainted. Let's work together to find the right home and community for you. And if you like the video, there are more at the Go Gated channel on YouTube. Please subscribe, and it's okay to like it. It's anonymous. Be happy to have you take a look at my other videos Thank you for watching this one. I look forward to meeting with you and working with you here as your buyer's agent. Thanks again.